Amanda Linhab, the freelance journalist held captive in Somalia for more than a year, kicked off Carlton's Yes You Can Leadership Conference this Saturday. A dozen men emerged from where they had been hiding behind the car. AK-47 fixed on our vehicle. My mouth was full of empty spaces where my teeth had been knocked out and were broken. I was missing a couple of toenails, too, because I had been starved and was vitamin deficient. I was extremely malnourished, weak, and thin. After a daring escape attempt and numerous ransom negotiations with her family, Lindhout began to think that the ordeal would never end. But to survive in captivity, I had to learn how to crawl out of that dark hole and towards forgiveness. With each passing day, my commitment to finding some light in the situation had to become stronger. Sometimes, if I was abused three, four, or five times in one day, there was a part of me that wanted to stay in the anger, wondering what's the point of doing all this forgiving if they're just going to come and keep hurting me. I can say to you now, in this moment, I have forgiven. But maybe in two hours, something may trigger hurt and anger again, and I have to be willing to address the pain, to work through it, and ultimately to let it go. After her release, she established the Global Enrichment Foundation, a charity devoted to helping underprivileged women throughout the world. First stop, Somalia. We launched our first program, the Somali Women's Scholarship Program, to provide university scholarships within Somalia to young women who know they can make a difference in the future of their country. I mean, I can't believe she went through that and still is like in forgiveness. Um, I think that um, people should take away that like forgiveness is possible and that the human spirit is really is has is really strengthened through like experiences like this, and that we should always forgive and but not forget. For Charlton.ca, I'm Chris Harrell.